Welcome to Porosity Determination Lab Session. Porosity and permeability of reservoir rocks are important properties studied by reservoir engineers. Porosity is a measure of the storage capacity of the reservoir rock. Permeability of the rock is a measure of the interconnected pores. Also, we consider effective porosity, which is the ratio of the interconnected voice space to pore volume. A good reservoir rock should have high porosity and permeability. This enhances the capacity of the reservoir to store migrating petroleum. The importance of porosity determination to petroleum engineers are 1. To determine the original oil in place or original gas in place. 2. To determine the saturation level in percentage of water and hydrocarbon through application of Aki's principle. Porosity of rock may be determined by 1. Core analysis. 2. Well logging and well testing techniques. Now we are going to perform the porosity determination by liquid saturation method. The corridors we have here are uh, weighing balance. We have the, the core samples. Okay, we are going to use samples A, B, C, and there, these are other core samples that we have. But for this experiment, we are using sample A, B, C. And then we also have uh, sodium chloride, which we are going to use to make our brine solution. Okay, we have to make um, a brine solution of uh, 1.0 gram per cm cube. So that means that we're going to measure uh, 18 gram of sodium chloride into 500 ml of water. So let's go ahead. Now here we have 500 mil of water and then let's measure 18 gram of sodium chloride you zero the weighing balance okay good so this is fine. This is 18 gram of sodium chloride. Then we pour 500 ml of water. To make our solution of 1.02 gram per cm cube brine solution. It is dead and now homogeneous. Now, the next thing is for us to measure our core sample, A, B, C. We are going to measure the diameter, the length, and then the weight of the, of the dry cores. Now, when we take the measurement, it is important that we note that we have to take the measurement twice or three times so that we can take average of each data. Taking the sample and uh, measured their data, the next thing for us to do is to transfer the core into the brine solution and then time it for 30 minutes. Experiment is timed for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we are going to get the weight of the wet core. Uh, now the timer is about to go off. Yes, thank you. Then we take out the core and put them on the filter paper or any paper. We can zero it. 
measure the wet core. Zero it again. Okay, at the end of uh, the measurement, we can then have our experimental data and then we tabulate it just as it's done in table 1.0. Thank you very much. This is the end of the experiment. Have a wonderful day.